Hello, girlfriends, and welcome to another episode of Tried and Tested. Today, we'll be trying out some Japanese beauty products. So these are currently not available in Singapore, so we got them from two places. One is Laxella.com. They are a website that specializes in selling Japanese beauty products. They get them directly from Japan. And we also got them from Afrof. Now, this is an app. You can get people who are traveling overseas to help you buy stuff back. Okay, let's try this out. So this is the facial foam that got super popular online and actually the selling point is not so much the foam itself but the way it dispenses it. So let me show you, so pretty. Thank you Laxella for getting someone to hand deliver this to us because actually right, this is an aerosol so there's some shipping regulations in some parts of the world but we got it, so yay! <laughs> Look at that! So it's cut like quite specifically to get that roll shape. Okay, so here you've got two handles and you're supposed to push. Petals got petals. So I think press maybe like very lightly, huh? Let's give this another shot, okay? Oh. oh my god! This is so beautiful. Okay, now I'm gonna try this again. Beauty of this just makes me want to cry. I know I'm like totally overreacting to like face wash. But you know, can you imagine every day you press your face wash and out comes this rose? And the foam is so, it's so firm. It just stays, it stays there. To test this thing of beauty, to see how it is as a face wash, I'm going to wash this part of my face. It's actually quite a nice foaming facial wash because sometimes it really like, they just strip your skin completely. For me, this is feeling quite soft actually, like baby soft. Okay, so the thing about this product, right, is like the amount that it dispenses. Okay, if you do too little, you don't really get the rose shape. You do too much, it's like a waste of product. <laughs> So you just gotta get it just right. But I think it's quite okay, like it takes a while to get used to but it's doable. I would rate this a 9 out of 10. Actually, I also don't know because I feel like I cannot give it a 10. But I feel like it's a 10 out of 10 because it's so pretty. It's just so beautiful and the face wash works and you know, it's just about getting it. You need to get used to how much you want to dispense but like that's a 10. Can we just sell it everywhere in Singapore, please? Just sell it everywhere. It's so pretty. So this is henna putty. And it's supposed to be a nose insert to help give you a sharper nose. So nose inserts are not new, but apparently these are made specifically for Japanese nostrils because the other ones were too uncomfortable for them. Okay, let's try this out. So these are the inserts and this is to remove them for when the time comes. It feels so invasive. <laughs> you know what I mean? Like, this is a very private part, you know, your nostril. <laughs> okay, let's give this a shot. So I'm supposed to do this, and then... Oh, there we go. Okay, that's where it's supposed to be. Oh! Okay, let me try the other side and see whether... I... It keeps feeling like it's gonna just shoot up my nostril. You know what I mean? Like, if I move too much, that it will just move out of the way. Guys... I've always wanted to know what I look like with a sharper nose, and I'm pretty sure that this is the... I quite like this effect, like, this is quite interesting. It feels like two toothpicks in my nose, but it's like cushion at the end. You know what? I can say, quite safely say that you can't tell there's something in my nose. You know why? Because it's black and your nostril is like a hole anyway, right? So right now I see this, even I can like, <laughs> I'm a bit like, oh no, how am I going to take this off because I can't see it. So comfort level is kind of like, you know, when you wear falsies, like you know there's something there but it's not terribly uncomfortable and after a while, you probably get used to it. Although I, I am just a little bit conscious about moving too much because I'm so afraid that it'll just like get lost. Okay, so this one has turned completely in. So it does turn if you move too much. Okay, let me just take this out. Ah! That's uncomfortable. Ah! Oh, that's very uncomfortable. I need tweezers. Will it get lost in my nose? It's tickling my nose. <laughs> Give me <laughs> Oh, okay. <laughs> Guys, this is hilarious. Let me take out the other side before it does the same thing. That was so uncomfortable. I can't even cry on cue now, I know how. It made my nose run like non-stop. That was so funny. It really works in that once you get it in the right position, it really makes your nose sharper. Either you take a while to get used to how it is in your nose so you know what kind of movements you can do and cannot do. It's very unglamorous to like be adjusting it in public. You know what I mean? Like, you know, or you even if you bring this thing. <laughs> what are you doing? Just, oh, picking my teeth. But actually, you're picking your nose, you know, and you just... And then what if you put this in and then you pull out something else? Also not very nice, right? But other than that, I think it's quite an amazing idea and the fact that it was actually not uncomfortable, uncomfortable when it was in place is quite magical. 
If only they could find a way to secure this thing. So I would give this like a 8, I guess. This is the Kose Lip Gel Magic. Now this is a lip gel that supposedly turns any non-matte lipstick into a transfer-proof lipstick. Okay, so first I'm going to apply some lipstick. So normally when I use this, like I, I take extra care to not, you know, eat or anything because it's not here for its long-wearing power, let's just say that. But it's very pretty. So this is like a gel, slightly powdery kind of texture once it dries. So now we try the cup test and see if it transfers. Yeah. Wow. <laughs> so there's a very slight transfer, but like nothing like how it is normally. Now I'm gonna try and eat some noodles because you know with the oil and then that movement of like eating the noodles, like sometimes it just removes lipstick. It's still there. I almost cannot believe it. Is it my eyes are playing tricks on me? Okay, so I've already eaten. Now I've got some oil on my lips. I'm just gonna blot the tissue and see if any of it transfers. It came out, but do notice how like the center where most of the product was is quite clear. It's like just, just the outline of my lips. And the color is still quite present. I'm very impressed with this. I was not expecting it to work so well. Okay, I would give this an 8 out of 10 because it didn't become completely transfer proof. And if you compare it to like, you know, the matte lipsticks, I think it's still not quite there. Although, the great thing about this is that it maintains the gloss or the shine that you want. This is the Kinka Gold Leaf Eye Mask. So it's made of 24k gold and it's supposedly very luxurious. This is interesting. 24k gold on my face? Really? So now, I'm just going to try it on one eye and see if it starts to sparkle like a gold leaf. This is the gel. So you can see like little gold flakes inside the essence. So I'm going to take this, I put it under my eye. Okay, so now I'm going to put this on and I'm supposed to leave it on for 10 to 15 minutes. Okay, so it's been about 15 minutes, so now I'm going to remove the top part and then massage the rest of the leaf into my face. I'm supposed to come on my face. No, gold leaf, you cannot run away. I'm just gonna squeeze you in, I don't care. Hey, this gold leaf is very expensive, right, you know. I'm not gonna throw this away, I'm going to get all of it. It's not coming off, so I'll take it off myself. Get out of my face! Don't stare at my finger, my finger needs no help! And then I get some water to dissolve it, and I'm gonna rub it in. I'm just really shiny. Okay, I changed my mind, you can get off my face now. It's just not really absorbing. It's just bits of gold everywhere lah. Okay, basically it's just gold everywhere. My skin does feel a bit firmer, that's for sure. It's still got a, like, a tacky kind of feeling. Okay, it's not a huge difference after this one use. I must say, it is quite exciting though, the thought of like having a 24k gold mask at home. But I am not sure. It feels a bit gimmicky to me. So I would give this like a 6.5 out of 10. Because the whole process was just slightly messy. And then also it kind of like didn't come off in a sheet, which is like, hello? That's what your picture says. Like, just draw on little patches and I'll accept that, you know. But like, it's not. You draw on a whole gold leaf so it should come off, right? I'm not asking for too much. So this is the cleansing powder from Carnival. It's to wash your face. They say that it retains the moisture but also exfoliates as it washes. It's so cute, people. Look at its size. Aww. So I've tried cleansing powder before but you never really know how much to use. You know, sometimes you over pour or you under pour. But this is like just nice. When you do this, it actually feels like a little bit coarse. Okay, now we try with some water. Okay, so now I'm gonna wash my face. Okay, I think this is interesting because they say it's exfoliating, right? But I literally cannot feel anything like exfoliating. That means it should be quite gentle. And it's more of a milky texture than it is like a soapy one. Like it doesn't lather very much as you can see. But as I wash it off, it definitely doesn't feel like drying. Like, I see what they mean, but I think it maintains the moisture. 8 out of 10. Okay, we've come to the end of the episode. If you want to find out more about the products, how much they cost, where they get them from, go to the Tried and Tested Facebook page. It's in the Featured Products album. Download the Click Network app because you can watch the videos one month before they go onto YouTube. Yes, please. Yes, please. Okay. Alright, that's it. Mwah. Go be beautiful.